hello, hello. We're back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. This is take three of trying to get Annabelle to give me a fucking promotion. <sighs> Evaluation, please. Congratulations, Conwind. Your recent performance has been evaluated, and the Allied War Council has deemed you worthy of a new medal. Accept the honors? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. One moment, please, while I prepare your award. That will be enough. I'll take it from here, soldier. Ahem. Calm win. For exemplary service to the Republic of Bastok, I present you with the Brass Ribbon of Service 2. Dismissed. Why are you still here, soldier? There are beastmen to be pummeled. Now march! And that's literally every single promotion. I think all the way up to the final one. Although, I don't really remember. Either way, we're here to do more Wings of the Goddess quests slash missions. So, that's what we're going to be about. And so it's uh, called Honor Under Fire. And we've got to talk to General Tiger again. Uh, interesting fact, too, that I learned while reading up on campaign is every time you rank up now, if you've progressed the Bastok Nation Quests, or whatever nation you're in's Nation Quests, to a certain point, then you won't lose, you won't be able to lose your medal, even if you don't do campaign for a long time. Uh, so after we've done all the Nation Missions, once we get to maximum rank, we'll be there forever. So that's kind of cool. Um, anyway, let's get to doing more of those now. Oh, and also, uh, I looked up how much Rhapsodies I'd have to do to get the Rhapsody and Mauve so that we could get evaluations done every hour. But, uh, I'm not ready to do that, so we're going to be low rank for a while. Call Wind, I've heard about the great news. Darksteel Hurricane is no more. Now all citizens of Bastok, excluding myself, of course, because I was never intimidated, won't have to live in fear anymore. Hurrah! I see, so that was how the legend of Dark Seal of Hurricane came to an end. Unfortunately, the man's motives for choosing this particular juncture to resume his bloody reign went with him to the grave. For me, at least, this spells several sleepless nights to come. Be that as it may, we have to content ourselves with the knowledge that no more innocent blood will be shed. Besides, with the new responsibilities that have been entrusted to our unit, you won't have the luxury of time to dwell on such matters. I received a message from Chairman Pale Eagle just moments ago. The Senate has passed a motion to reappoint the Mithril Musketeers to its customary post by the President's side. Truly, Captain? I'm pleased to say so. It would appear that powers that be recognized our contribution towards solving these latest incidents. A ceremony will take place in the President's office shortly. Zade and I have been invited to attend as representatives of our unit. Nikolaus. Prepare the report to be filed to the security office. I will be making my rounds to the Department of Industry in the meantime. Zaid, you seem so glum. Phew, looks like we managed to come out on top in this little in-house tussle with the 1st Brigade. Yeah. Something troubling you, Five Moons? Don't misunderstand me. I was relieved as any of us that the citizens can live in peace once more. Yet a part of me struggles to come to terms with Darksteel Hurricane's death. It's silly, I know. I'll go... I will go to Vunkerl Inlet. As both Galka and Mithril Musketeer, I must confirm with my own eyes the death of a man who once ruled my existence. Or else I fear there will be no closure for me in this lifetime. Five moons, wait! Let us accompany him, Calmland. It's the least we can do for a comrade in this period of internal turmoil. Okay, man. 
So now we gotta go to bunker roll. Back to F6. Uh, back to F6. Oh wait, we got more cutscenes. Captain. What is it? The encounter at the Vunkerl Inlet. What of it? Dark Seal Hurricane lies dead, and all blemishes have been cleansed from the Mithril Musketeer's name. We could not have hoped for a more ideal ending to a messy affair. Do you not agree? Spare me the deception, Captain. Who was it that you crossed swords with on the bridge? That Galka was not Dark Steel Hurricane. You know this to be true above any other. Huh. For a fleeting moment, I thought you, the old you, had returned, Zaid. Simmer down, soldier. Mind that you acquit yourself well while we're in the president's office. But y'all aren't walking towards the president's office. That goes to the smithing guild. You guys gotta ride the elevator. They're totally gonna go bang in the in the, the smithy. <laughs> well, since no one's in there at the moment. <laughs> Just a little more Galka on Hume action. Once you go Galka, you never go uh Becca? No, that doesn't really rhyme. <sighs> anyway, let's go to Von Curl, which, for some reason, is on the Durfland front. Methinks that Square Enix forgot the layout of the continent. But, you know, whatever. Me. Don't mind me, I'm just going to ride my giant pink bird. <sighs> yeah, as if we needed even more of a gigantic flag that said Zade is Dark Seal Hurricane. Zade pretty much just confirmed it implicitly. Since he's like Mithril Musketeer number two and Clara's Mithril Musketeer number one. And they're boning. You think I hadn't noticed your clumsy footsteps? Oh, it's just you two. But why have you come? I, uh, was, uh, hesitant towards the whole idea, but Calm Wind vehemently insisted and wouldn't hear another word of it, so here we are. Nicholas, you lying piece of shit. Five moons, while well, I empathize with your feelings, it would be no minor coup to locate the... No minor coup? You didn't use that word right. Okay, but anyway. Uh, I think he means task. To locate the body, even for a search party several score men strong, let's head back to Bastok and... What's that down below? Looks like Volker. Volker? So I wasn't the only one with doubts gnawing at my mind as to whether it was truly Dark Seal Hurricane who fell to his death. I thought it best that the body be found and properly identified. After all, that's what would have been done ordinarily. I searched all the way to the river mouth, leaving no stone unturned. Finding nothing, I made my way back to the scene of the confrontation, thinking that perhaps I might have overlooked a vital clue. That was when I stumbled upon a suit of armor, identical to that worn by the suspect, carelessly strewn among high grass. Well, considering the stretch of time that has passed since the incident, a large carnivore carrying the flesh away to its den would be a perfectly plausible explanation. But what of the other possibility? The man somehow managed to survive, and still is it still at large? 
live through both the captain's blade and a pump plummet from this dizzying height, I would wager against that likelihood. Hey, an Arimon. An Arimon? It appeared to be in a considerable hurry, but what would one of its ill possibly be doing in these parts? Yeah, I said something foul afoot. Well, let's pursue it to its destination. Yeah, I'm the nerdy one. Yeah. Okay, so now we gotta go to J7. Which I suppose is what? Yeah, it's just the other side, the other bridge. So I guess we just go north and around. I'm not really familiar with traversing Von Curl Inlet. Uh, they did an Abyssia zone of this zone. And the Abyssia zone's traversal is a little strange. Like, I think some of the bridges are blocked off. And so, like, you wind up having to... You start in the north and you wind up having to loop all the way down the eastern side and come back up like a U-shape in order to uh, circle around. And that's the one I'm familiar with. Oh, I guess it's the same. It's the same. Cool. Uh, but yeah, that's the one I'm familiar with, because other than d these quests and some of the Wings of the Goss missions, there's almost no reason to come to Bunkerl Inlet. Well, I, other than Campaign Battle, which the Campaign Fortress is there at Nashron's Fist. The red square in the middle of the lake. It's actually a really awkward place to do Campaign Battles, because it's not safe for lower level people than like the mid 60s to like team up with like somebody who's a higher level holding one monster like away from all the others it's like especially back in the day before weapon skill calculations got ridiculous like if you were alone in a campaign battle you were in a lot of danger um you want j7 it says j7 so, like, what you had to do, and which I still pretty much do on Calm Wind, is you see the, uh, oh, wow, level, really high-level crabs, how about that? Uh, you see the pack of beastmen arrive, and you just sort of stand off to the side and let them start wailing on the wall. This locks them in on a target so that they don't aggro you. And then you pull them off one by one and kill them away so that you don't aggro any should they actually break the wall. And it's kind of sad because, like, it, it makes it so that, uh... You're smiling on... J7. J7. Beastman Ensign. Okay. But yeah, it makes it so that campaign bailouts are kind of slow, but, like, it's, it's better than dying. But because that one's in the center of the lake, that's where you have to stand, and so you're always close to where all the other beastmen are. So the second they break the wall, they aggro you. It's a hard position to defend. Damn, it's gone a hole up deep inside the cave. I've read that the Arimon's disproportionately large eye makes it susceptible to sudden changes in light conditions. If you had something that gives off a blinding flash of light, it would be possible to flush the Arimon out of hiding. If it's a blinding flash of light we need, I know some that, something that should fit, fill the bill. A flare grenade. It's one of Chief Shiz Engineer's most recent inventions. I was present for a trial of the prototype version. It literally turns night to day before you can even bat an eyelid. Yes, that sounds ideal. Conway and Volker, five moons and myself will stay here and keep watch in case the Arimon attempts to flee. We need you to hurry back to Bastok and come back with one of those flare grenades. Okay, so we have to go talk to General Tiger real quick. Which is kind of annoying because, like, we're already, like, out here. But I guess we could just use our warp ring and then use home point warp to, to get back. Or, or the books. Because our home point's in Bastok mine still. And between last recording and this one, I went and did some EXP in Sigil era. Uh, in, in this era, in, in the Wings of the Goss eras, I, I went to Devoy or Laval. And instead of being a bunch of orcish tents everywhere, it's a bunch of dilapidated 
ransacked houses. Like, they're, they're like small country houses. And all their doors are broken and their windows are broken and there's orcs everywhere. And all the orcs range from VT to IT for 75. It was actually pretty good EXP. Uh, with Anniversary Band or Echad Ring or whatever, it was like 5400 for orc. And the chain was never ending until I ran into an NM and the NM took like four minutes to kill or something. Uh, yeah, we want to use the book. That'll put us closest to where we want to go. Importation assistance, please. Gustaberg front, please. Best of markets, yes, please. Swing. But yeah, I wound up doing, I think, like 35 merits out there. Uh, it was during gain XP. I basically stayed out there for the duration of gain XP. Actually, it wasn't for the duration of gain XP. It was, like, for, like, an hour. And then I, like, took a bath and did some other stuff. And came back, and I was like, oh, it's been two hours. I can record now. And then fucking Annabelle was like, any minute now, I'll give you an evaluation. I was like, okay. And I waited, like, I tried recording and waited two minutes. She didn't give me the evaluation, so then I, like, went and checked my laundry, did some other stuff for 15 minutes, came back, she still wouldn't give me all right. So I just went out and did campaign battles again for, like, half an hour. And, uh, she finally was like, oh, yeah, so what can I do for you? Oh, an evaluation, of course, of course. And that's what you saw at the start of the video. Oh, hello there, Conway. Is there something I can help you with? Nicholas has asked you to fetch a flare grenade, you say. Oh, you're in luck, because I was issued one of these babies just yesterday for use in riot control. You can have it as long as you promise to think of your friend, General Tiger, when tossing it at an unsuspecting swarm of hostiles. Obtain key item flare grenade. A tactical hand grenade that emits a blinding flash of light. Aww, yeah. I'm not sure what would get us closer... If it would be the Campaign Arbiter, or if it would be the book. I'm just going to take the book. We've got a fight on our hands, you see. It's actually a pretty hard one, if I remember right. It's against the Ariman, and he, like, keeps changing into each of the people that you're fighting him with. So he changes into, like, Nikolaus, he changes into Volker... Uh, he changes into five moons. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to use trust, so it won't be that bad. Um... And, uh... This guide is telling me that apparently it... They didn't adjust it until 2021 for item level. Like, apparently, you had to kill all the rel the, the Ariman, like, when it changes forms, it, like, the HP bar for the, the clone it turns into, essentially, is separate from its own, so you had to kill all of them before killing the Ariman. They, so they didn't change that for, <laughs> like, 13 years? Are you crazy? That's crazy. But I'm actually surprised they changed it at all, because usually when they have phased fights like that, they don't change it ever. They just say, hey, fuck it, you know, it's, that's how the fight works. But I guess I, uh, people were getting annoyed enough in Japan that, that they are like, you know what, fuck it, we'll make it so that they can watch out the Sorry Mana be on their merry way. But we're not going to be one shot in the Sorry Mon. We're going to be fighting it. Uh, it's going to be... Eh... It's probably not even going to be as hard as that fucking Treant we had to fight. The Serunos or whatever. That thing was actually a fucking beast. Of course, it is going to have magic, so we might want to watch out a little bit. But, I mean, we've got access to a Pururu again, and... We're going to have Trusts, and, um... I don't think we're going to be assisted by Volker or Nikolaus or Five Moons, which is kind of a pain, but... I mean, most of the time they don't let you have NPCs anyway, so... Back in the day anyway, so... There's gonna be some cockamamie excuse as to why... Like, maybe the Ariman will have, like, knocked them all unconscious or something. 
and we'll have to take it out ourselves. Something like that. And we can see Calmwind Shadow through the bird shadow. That's not how shadows work. Silly Final Fantasy XI. Silly 2002 PlayStation 2 in graphical engine. That's a 21-year-old graphical engine. This graphical engine's old enough to drink! I'm here. How many virtue stones I got left? Okay, well, that ought to be enough for the fight. It'll be fine. Ah, come wind, you're back, and with the flare grenade, no less. You do the honors, calm wind. Release the safety handle on, on the count of three. Throw it as far as you can inside the cave. One, two, three! Calmwind throws the flare grenade. Calmwind sacrifices his retinas. Aw, oh, damn, there's more than one. Holy shit, that's, <laughs> that's more than we bargained for. Yeah, there's one for each of us. What in the world? Were they having an Arimon's picnic in there? We have us surrounded. Be at the ready. Well, well, well. I guess we each have to contend. That's why we're not getting ass assistance. We each have to contend with our own Arimon. Now entering Everbloom Hollow. Yeah, they came up with, I think, three or four areas that are all underground for Wings of the Goss areas. It's like Everbloom Ho Hollow, Goyu's Reverie, Ruhot's Silver Mines, and I think there's one more. But I can't remember what it is, if there is. Alright, so let's grab the Lion Earl. Let's grab Volker, just because he would actually be part of this mission. Um, I don't I think Ayami does warding circle for Demon Killer, but eh. She's she's a mythical musketeer from the future. Okay, let's uh let's grab Almia, I guess. I'm gonna I think we'll be fine like that. And then we'll preemptively buff a little bit. I like the music going on. Blind the guy. Oh, what the fuck? No, wait, it's me, Volker. We're on the same side. Like hell you are. Yeah. 
stop this, I beg you. I have no desire to harm you. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before there, Mr. Arimon. Bag of three, huh? Haha, -ha, we interrupted his cast. That's what I like to see. Turned into Volker again. Look, Arimon, you already tried this with this little lumber. You can at least turn into five moons. Volker uses Provoke on Volker! Oh, there's the inevitable sleep too. Got it. Oh, I missed the magic first one, though. I figured I did, but eh. So, we got it. Down it goes. Is that not the only one? Unless... Okay, its body just had to finish disappearing. Sometimes fights are like that. They don't register that the fight's over until the boss's or monster's body actually despawns. Oh, hey, Volker can use Warrior's Charge. That's kind of cool. Whoa, it's getting trippy here. Well, that sure left an unpleasant aftertaste. I see it now. The Dark Steel Hurricane that was purportedly vanquished by Captain Clara it has to have been this Ahriman. Considering what we've just witnessed, you might just be onto something. But this would mean that the recent killings attributed to Darksteel Hurricane were, in fact, it's a strong case for that theory. But supposing this theory holds water, of all the people to impersonate, why Darksteel Hurricane? Mm, this certainly warrants some thought. Let's start by weighing the information we have on hand. Five Moons, I pose this question to you. What did the la latest appearance of Darksteel Hurricane leave in its wake? What it left in its wake? That would be panic, and on top of that, fear, sorrow, and anguish. That sounds about right. Now consider this. None of these things require that the perpetrator be a specific individual. There's no real advantage in borrowing the identity of Dark Steel Hurricane. True, that. If anything, this, his notoriety would only serve to alert the authorities and heighten security. Hardly an ideal environment for a criminal to operate in. So the choice of Darksteel Hurricane goes deeper than simple murder. That the Ariman should know of a Bastoken criminal from years past also strikes me as odd. I share the same concern, and this one more thing which pay plays heavily on my mind. Calm when this next question is for you. Did you not sense anything amiss during our encounter with the transformed Ariman? Something different from when you engaged with an ordinary opponent? Uh... Hmm, eh? What are you saying, Nikolaus? What I'm saying is this. It felt different finding the transformed Rarimon because, you see, they weren't actually transformed. Rather, we were merely being made to see an illusion. An illusion? That's correct, and this leads us back to when Captain Clara dealt with what was witnessed by many to be the decisive blow to Darksteel Hurricane. 
The difference felt at the moment of impact. There is no way this could have escaped the notice of an experienced soldier like the captain. Are you suggesting that the captain knew about this all along? That is one theory. The other being that the captain herself is an Ari monitor in disguise. I believe it's fair to assume that we've all noticed the recent changes in the captain. She exhibits the classic behavior of a person actively trying to conceal something. That reminds me, the captain of his age should be in audience with President Prien right about now. I have a bad feeling about this. If all the recent happenings were part of an elaborate plot to regain the president's trust. Oh shit, there's a bunch of demons. Of all the times to be waylaid! That's a lot of demons. There's far too many of this. There's far too many of them for this to be a happy coincidence. Bulker, calm wind, you two hurry back to Bastok at once. We have a moment to waste. Five moons, and I will do what we can to keep the new arrivals at bay. Understood. Calm wind with me. Man, I kind of want to see. I, I kind of want to see five, five moons and and uh, Nikolaus hold off that many demons. Like, dude, that's got that's dude. Mithril musketeers are badasses. Okay, I did 42 merits earlier, actually. Actually, no, I guess some of those came from Campaign Battle XP. I guess I did about 40, 40 merits earlier, and, and a couple of a couple of the ones came from that, or whatever. Alright, so we just gotta get back to Gentle Tiger now. And then we'll see the cutscenes. Booster bird, please. Gusta the gusta, the gusta chicken. Have a gust stick and your brain starts gusting. And I don't like my gear being partially in the wardrobe. I wasn't so lazy today. I would uh, I would change it up, but I'm lazy, so I won't. Yo, man, am I in time to save the president? Hmm? What's the matter, Calmwind? Do you look like you've seen a tonberry? Uh, not that I'm afraid of those cute little critters, of course. Oh, Captain Clara and Zaid? The two of them should be on their way to the President's office as we speak. Yeah, they definitely had to have banged. And now Zaid is even more... more suspicious. He's like, she didn't bang like she usually does. Zay, do you recall my words to you the day you joined the Mithril Musketeers? As clear as if it were yesterday, Captain. You said to me that to forward the peace and prosperity of the Republic, one must be prepared to overcome unimaginable hardships. And for the sake of this cause, one must not scruple to employ whatever means necessary, be they fair or foul. These words stand resolute to this day. Do you still share this belief with me, Zaid? I have never believed otherwise, Captain. Were it not for you, I would have been condemned to live out the rest of my wretched life as a creature lesser than a beast. Come what may, I will follow you to the end. And swear me this, Zaid, that whatever you may witness from this point onwards, you will never cease to believe in me. I swear, Captain. Mithril Musketeers, Captain Clara Bester, and Mithril Musketeers, Zaid reporting. Ah, Clara, Zaid. It has simply been too long. I thank you for coming. It is we who are deeply honored by your invitation, Your Excellency. Haha, <laughs> let's do it with the pomp and ceremony, shall we? On your feet, the both of you. Truth be told, none was more troubled than I over the Mithril Musketeer's dismissal from its post. But loath as I was to be bereft of your unit's reassuring presence, regrettably there was those of influence who weren't so favorably inclined following that incident. I fear I had little choice but to appease their demands. 
fervently apologize for the distress my unit has caused. No matter, it's all in the past now. Besides, true to your reputation, you have found a way back to my side again, and not a moment too soon. You are too kind, Your Excellency. I too have waited long for this moment. For today... It's the day I bathe my blade in your blood. Clara, I'm not seeing the humor in this. Zaid, don't forget the oath you swore. C Captain, what are you doing? That's how he got his scar. I had expected better of you, Volker. I will not tolerate insubordination in any shape or form. Man, I feel like Volker's always getting his ass beat. Taking a blade to one of your own. What madness has taken you, Clara? Yeah, did she just break the president's hand? He who would call himself the leader of a nation must learn to be gracious in defeat. The time of parting has come. Farewell, President Pre and the Republic of Bastok. Zaid, have you so quickly forgotten your oath? Stand down. Captain, please cease this madness. Sound of swords clashing? Volker! Captain, so the situation is as we feared. I'm coming to your aid, Zaid. Zaid, why do you interfere? Listen well, Zaid. The next time we meet, Captain, it will not be me who stands before you. Why, Captain Clara, I heard noises, so rushed here. Th that unsheathed blade. Captain Clara? Something is amiss with me, men. M Mr. President, are you unharmed? Great Kaiser's ghost! Stay right where you are, all of you! That Captain Clara would attempt to take the life of the President and even strike down Volker with murderous intent. None of this makes any sense. Every single member of the Mithril Musketeers has been detained for questioning. Looks like you've been o you're being overlooked, and all this is the only silver lining we'll be seeing in the darkest of clouds. If the intensity of the war against the Beastmen near to boiling, this internal discord couldn't have come at a worse time. I'm afraid to imagine what will become of the nation. Calm wind, you're the Republic's only hope. Please don't abandon us in this hour of need. Hey, look! Happy music! And we got Elixir Tank, which dispenses elixirs. And I guess it'll dispense up to four? <laughs> That's kind of cool. I don't remember that being a thing. But either way, we now have to do Wings of the Goddess missions again. And... Gotta look them up real quick. The gorgeous place. I just want to see how many missions we have between. Okay, so that was honor under fire. So now we just gotta go to Southern Sandioria from East Ronfar. Farm. 
And I need to, like, take a day at some point, go through my inventory, and get rid of the stuff that I don't need at some point. Because I am still to, uh, to get too full of shit. I'm already somebody who's kind of full of shit, so you know. Swing. Ron Farm music. I'm, I'm put off. I'm off put. How could they? How could they? Not allow us to hear the beautiful music of East Ron Thor. I wish there was a way to uh, disable campaign music. I'd rather listen to the zone music and then to the uh, party battle music. In between fighting stuff. Oh, look, they got mandalettes. Huh. I don't even know what those do, though. They look like they're targets, but I don't... <laughs> I've got no idea. Guess I could look it up real quick. Occasionally summoned forth by 4th Division Centuria, Gold Badger, Esquire, or Piscean Casters in a zone under allied control. Several mantelets can appear in a zone at one time, like we just saw there were four. Everyone close to an allied mantelet will get refresh, regain, and regen effects. The regen effect is 15 HP per tick, regain is 3 TP a tick, and the refresh effect is 3 MP a tick. The effect is lost if you move too far from the allied mantelet. It gradually loses HP until it finally despawns. Oh yeah, okay, so they're basically buff totems. This effect cannot be reversed, and curing the mantelets have no effect. And that would be 30 TP a tick nowadays, so you get the weapon skill thanks to these a little more often. It's like having a monarch strength, but for everyone near the mantelet. That's pretty cool. Hey, look, there's Mr. Violently Red Boots again. Elven Hottie on the right. Ooh, half Elven Hottie running through the town. Oh, damn, she just marled herself. It is Chrono Trigger. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, man, her butt. Mm. Ah, calm wind. It's me, Lily Set. You do remember me, don't you? Oh, please tell me you do. You got the wrong person, lady. No. <laughs> we can just be a dick. How could I ever forget? You're too you're too cute to forget. Come on now. But really? What about our tag team duo, Future Fabulous? Do you remember that too? Phew, what a relief. Glad to see your memory is still intact, Calm Wind. Why are you asking? Rather than try to explain, I think I'll just show you what's been happening. Come on, follow me. Okie dokie. So now we got to do... Go to the Lion Spring Tavern, I suppose. Maybe people are forgetting who she, she is. Like, maybe Maya Cobb doesn't remember her or something. Maybe Portia doesn't remember her either. I don't know why that would be, but maybe that's what's happening. Oh, it's gonna be start with her dancer buddies, huh? 
Yes, something I can do for you? Hi there, Troop Mayakov is in the midst of preparations for a dazzling new performance. We hope to see you among the audience when the curtains are drawn. You again? What is it with you? Even stubbornness has its limits, you know. Look, how many times must I tell you? It's me, Lily Set. <sighs> and how many times must I tell you? We don't have a blinking clue who you are. Did you see that calm wind? They don't recognize me. And what about calm wind here? You don't remember him either? Eh? It's calm wind, the one who stumbled into the trap we laid for that snotty talking cat out in Jugner Forest? We don't know you, we don't know him, we certainly don't know no talking cats. How many times do you want us to say that? Now away with you. Oh, well, that was kind of creepy. She's probably just a harmless fan who's slightly touched in the head. You gotta admit, though, she did a pretty good job with the outfit. Harmless or no, I think it's the best we ignore those nutty types. Ah, uh, fame can be such a hassle at times. Why is this happening? They've forgotten you too, Calmwind. Ah, uh, Mr. Mayakov! Oh, they've got, like, their souls are leaving their bodies or something? Huh. There was, like, little blue balls that came out of their, their heads. Mr. Mayakov, Portia, you, you remember me, right? Right? What has gotten into you these days? Lily Set, you're one of the most talented dancers I've ever taken under my wing, but at the same time, incredibly uncouth and unsophisticated. You must learn to embrace the grace and elegance of dance in everyday life as I do. After all, those with the most... the master of the dance must allow dance to master them. M Mr. Mayakov. Hmm? How have you been keeping, Lily Set? Mr. Mayakov and I were discussing the routine for the troops' next performance. It would be lovely if you could join us. In times such as these, it's the least our troop can do to put on a show that will warm the dampened hearts of the citizens. We've even received the backing of Sir Rageley's and the Knights. L Lily said, is something the matter? Portia. Oh. Forgotten who you are, you'd say. Are you absolutely certain? Weren't they just pulling some kind of distasteful prank? I hate to say it, but they were dead serious. They don't even remember who Calm Wind is. It's as though the two of us have completely disappeared from their memories, but why? Us two from the future, disappearing. Does this mean... No, it can't be. The future itself is disappearing? Oh, we said you're still going on about that. You have to believe me, Mr. Mayakov. There isn't this isn't some fool's errand I'm running. Now look here. Sir, you have to admit that many a strange event has taken place since Lily Set joined us. The strangest of all being that time back at the Laval when Sir Ragelis was struck down by the purple garbed fiend. Moreover, many is the time when Lily Set has displayed knowledge of things no ordinary person could possibly know. My senses tell me that something well beyond our comprehension is taking place. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll share with you what little I know. It would seem that the mysterious pair, dressed in ghastly purple, the wardrobe coordinators would be punished, by the way, has been the topic of many a discussion among the knights lately. A knight friend of mine said that royal scouts have brought back reports of the sighting out about Valdonia. Really? Now, before we get all excited and act hastily, don't forget that the fiends were able to subdue even a knight of so greatly caliber. Come in, we have to hurry to Valdonia. Then we set. I beg you, Mr. Mayakov, please allow me to go. Something terrible is about to happen. I just know it. It feels as though everything I hold dear is being taken away from me. Like the time father and mother died. 
just can't sit by idly while this feeling eats away at my soul. Sigh. Once your heart is set on something, there's no talking you out of it, is there? Very well then, I'll give you permission to skip your lessons, but refrain from doing anything reckless, understood? Thank you, Mr. Mayakov. Come in, Portia, I want you two to come with me. I, I would, but I must stay by Sir Rageley's side. Portia, why don't we go and keep them company? But, you need not worry about Sir Rageless. It's already taken care of. Beg your pardons? Hot elven samurai, babe. Allow me to introduce Sir No... No, literally, the esteemed commander of the Knights of the Red Ruffs that hath kindly volunteered to see the Sir Rageless's every need. What? Please, rest assured, the Chateau and its amenities are familiar to me. I shall personally see to it that Sir Rageless lacks neither for company nor comfort during his convalescence. Uh-oh. I'm so sorry, Portia. This was a proposal from General Kosuro Myself, I just couldn't say no. But Portia, we're going to find a way to remove Sir Rageless's curse, and we'll come back straight after that. All right. I, I leave Sir Rageless in your capable hands. You got that all right, Calm Wind? First stop, the Busadine Glacier. Yeah, so basically back in the day, there was a big gap in time, like several months, probably six to eight, between uh, the Battle of Juno mission and this, if I remember right anyway. It was a big deal when this mission came out because that was when you actually got first... First... Uh, exposure to the Northlands and uh, however after this mission came out like it wasn't like you had to do the mission I don't think you had to do the mission again access I could be remembering wrong it's been a long time but uh, it was a big deal and to, to go up there and we've actually already been up there on calm wind off-camera at least I think I did it off camera. But it's very dangerous because all the monsters are above level 75. Uh, there's new monsters that are Wings of the Goddess exclusive, like Reservoirs and Gargoyles. And uh, lots of Gigases, and Tigers, and shit. Y'all are not dressed for the cold. Calm wind over here. Such a bleak, desolate place. Are you familiar with this region, Calm wind? Yeah, I come here all the time. Considering how expansive the glacier is, it wouldn't be feasible to wander around aimlessly, hoping to stumble upon a clue. I say we first investigate each of the magic towers scattered, scattered about here, and... What in the... Watch out! <laughs> she kicked us out of the way. Phew, that was a close call. You owe me lunch for that, Calm Wind. <laughs> she knocked us out. <laughs> Cat Sith Nowy. Yo, wow, 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 wow. Ah, you. 
the prancing prima donna and her posse. Search for you for the longest time I have on your elusive trail. I have a request of utmost urgency. I need you to, to do. Hold your chocobos there. Before I say let you say any more, you'll have to answer my question first. Split what? My fellow dance troop members, Tanja, Reyna, and Judith, they all seem to have forgotten who I am. They're acting as though we never met. At Laval and then the Battle of Juno, we've been toiling away, doing exactly as you tell us in order to reduce the tears of the world. So why is something like this happening? What's the meaning of all this? You say you've been forgotten? Your existence wiped from their mi memories? That's exactly what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah! Shock, horror, the situation we had feared. There's a traitor in our midst, the turncoat in our ranks. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what exactly is this creature? Some variety of cat? So that's what's causing all this. You don't, you know something, don't you? I suppose you could say that, but if you do exactly as I say, heed my request. Your friend's memories of you will be restored. R really? Probably, perhaps. Grr, I've had it up to here with you. Who in the hell? world do you think you are, acting all suspicious and secretive and never giving us straight answers? For all the drudgery you make us do, you've hardly given anything in return. That's awfully presumptuous of you, don't you think? But we're not going to put up with it anymore, you hear? Um, ever since arriving here in the past, we've been scurrying about without cease, trying to put things to right. Isn't that so, Calm Wind? You have the right to know what's going on in our world. Yes, this is true. Your words can't be denied. Could these adventures truly be the ones spoken of in the prophecy? Very well, I will place my trust in you. But in return, you must be willing to offer me yours. Scratch each other's backs. I can make no promises, nor do I know for certain what will come to pass, how events will unfold. Even knowing this, are you prepared to tread the same path, walk hand in hand? Um, to be honest, I'm not following much of your conversation. <laughs> but if I were to trust you and do as you say, would it lead me to, to a cure for Sir Rachelis? Yes, it might. What do you think we should do, Calmwind? Eh, we've got nothing to lose. Fantabulous! Listen, then, to what I have to say, my plea. I ask for your cooperation in rooting out the traitor among the Kate Sids, detecting the defector. A traitor? Yes, I have reason to believe our secrets are being leaked to the enemy, our mission compromised. At present, all of us should be on standby at various locations throughout the Busanian Glacier, awaiting instructions. Your task is to locate the remaining five Kate Sids and attach one of these onto each of them, nice and secure. And these are... They're shadow bugs. Devices used for surveillance, monitoring, monitoring movement. Of this, we can observe the comings and goings of each individual Kate, and ultimately ferret out the traitor. Catch him, or her red-handed. Understood. Very good. We'll gather at the Southern Tower when you finish the task. Accomplish your mission. Schwing. Okay, let's go and track down the Kate Sids. It may not seem like much of a lead, but this is all we have at the moment. Let's see where it takes us. Alright, I don't think this will be too bad. Basically, we're just going to have to go to each... We're just going to have to go to each of the, uh... Zelkstra Towers. When the Harbinger cometh, the champions of the dawn shall descend. The Maiden of Dusk shall descend? Oh, merciful fool, Altana, which of these is the will of the world? Oh, snap, look, there's a bunch of gargoyles. Shadow Wing. Shadow Wing Infuriators. Yep. And they are kicking those fortifications ass. Okay, so, we walked in. And I'm yawning like crazy. Because it's like 4 a.m. Almost. But yeah, so we just gotta go to each tower. And at each tower, we're basically gonna have to, uh... Do a little mini game to attach the shadow bugs. And I think we have five shadow bug key items. 
Okay, well, whatever. Uh... Oh, hey, look, a proper door entrance instead of a, a grate. That's kind of cool. Okay, I think we're looking for regal paw prints. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, there they are. Okay, yeah, we just gotta find the regal paw prints at each tower. And try to get these bugs on these cats. The harbinger cometh. Found one. So we're supposed to attach this shadow bug to it. We'll have to try to sneak closer when it's looking the other way. Sounds like a plan. What's that determined expression you're wearing there, Calm Wind? Do you mean to volunteer? Well, if you insist, who am I to argue? Just don't let us down, okay? I don't know how it doesn't see us, but, you know, whatever. Oh, we got caught. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. So it can't turn around at any point during the frame of movement? That's... Oh, this is going to be annoying. And it caught us again because the server registered Kate Sith's turn before... Ugh. I feel like one of you dancers should be doing this. I'm a red mage. I mean, I should be able to cast Sneak and Invisible and just attach the bug, but, you know, whatever. Oh, come the fuck on! Jesus fucking Christ. It can partial turn? Are you fucking serious? Wow. Fucking stupid. That's one out of five. I'm sure the other five, or the other four are gonna be equally stupid. Ugh. Ugh, I say, ugh. Crypto Tars. Hey. Yeah, this quest is sort of definitely intended for you to have come in from the south, because, like, there's a tower down there, and then there's another tower that's, like, also down there. Ugh. 
Now these gargoyles, I believe they're side aggro when they're walking on the ground, but they're true sound when they're flying. And they change their, whether they're flying or walking, like every one minute. So they're kind of like more aggressive bras from C, in a way. Although I might be remembering wrong, they might just be true sound the whole time. And they've got some pretty nasty TP moves. And you can learn Triumphant Roar from them, which is a plus 15% attack bonus for Blue Mage. That lasts for a, a full minute, and you can use Diffusion on it to give it to your whole party. And it stacks with Berserk and Last Resort, so like... And all other buffs. So for the 75 cap, all the way up to uh, whenever they put in the second set of Adelin spells or whatever. Or maybe it was the first set of Adelin spells, I don't remember. Either way, it's the best attack up spell Blue Mage has until Nature's Meditation, or whatever it's called, that comes from the Chipulis in, uh, in Adelin. These Skull Things are Black Mages, and I don't think they have any TP moves at all. And I believe they aggro Sound and Blood, because they're undead. Um, I don't fully remember. Investigate the tower? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The eternal night is in. Geesh, this one isn't showing any sign of movement. It might as well be a statue. It certainly seems more vigilant than the others. If only we had a way to draw its attention. How about this? Blue Set produces a Choco Pulis Torque from her pocket. What is it? What does it do? It's an enchanted item that gives us wear the power to transform into a cuddly, chirping Chocobo chick at will. Calm Wind transforms into an irresistibly cute Chocobo chick. The high-pitched chirping of a Chocobo chick will surely draw Kate Sith's attention. After all, no self-respecting feline could possibly resist such delectable bait. But chirping alone is bound to get old. Be sure to mix things up to keep our target on the hook. Keep in mind, though, that the enchantment lasts only for a short duration. Once you've lured Kate Sith close enough, I'll stun it and silly. We only have one chance at this. Failure is not an option. Got it. Fail it five times because it's retarded. Meow, meow, meow. What am I doing? Straying away from my hiding place, wandering about. Ah, you almost had it, Conwin. What the fuck? You're supposed to stun it, silly, not me. Gates of the tree faints from shock. Okay, that's two out of five. Fucking annoying. Let's ride our crab. We gain a little bit of happiness by riding the crab. Which, if we were a woman, oh my god, look at that. We're bouncing and vibrating and... Uh, its head is like sloped up into our groin. 
Of course, I guess that happens on horses too, right? Like part of part of a woman's whole deal with riding a horse side saddle is to not get aroused by riding the horse or something like that. Some people were innocent enough to think it was just because that's how you have to ride a horse when you wear a skirt, but no, it's it's, it's so that the horse doesn't you know rub back and forth, back and forth, and do the old make the girl come sort of thing. So, yeah. That's the whole thing. So many things in this world reference sex. You'd think I'd be less obsessed with it since I've been having it regularly for four years now. But no. I'm only human. Pity me, I'm almost a human being. I'm like a habitual map checker. I like I already know where I'm going. I just like I don't know, I like to make sure it's like I haven't looked at the map in five seconds, I should probably look at the map again. This is why they probably put mini maps into other games. But even in games with mini maps like fourteen, I still bring up the full size map all the time. Because mini map usually lacks detail. Gigas's. Oh dear God. Okay. Uh, don't mind me, Mr. Gigas. I just wanna get this bug on this cage sit. Me 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 with wings to bear. There's another one. Porsche, here, take the shadow bug. Who, who me? Don't worry, Calmwind and I will guide you through it. You'll do just fine. This is Uncle Conway, and Porsche lacks that certain killer instinct, which means you'll, your signaling has to be no less than immaculately timed. Got it? Oh, oops. Oh. Drat, notice this, but we're not giving up just yet. Let's try again, but concentrate harder this time. I wonder if there's anyone out here who got these done, like, the, the very first time, like, and had no problems with them, and were just like, oh yeah, that was easy. I never saw the failure screen. Like, <sighs> it's the same mini game we did in first person, but now it's in third person. God damn it! Many games like this drive me up the wall. They would be more fun if they were consistent. Uh -oh, we're gonna have to watch out, cause like, when Portia starts like, getting weird, she, like, takes longer to go.
and she got caught because she takes longer to go. Fuck this minigame! Holy fucking shit! Oh, yeah, okay. Instantly caught. Sweet. Awesome. Amazing. Fucking go. Oh! Ugh. Turn back around, you stupid cat. Come on. How the fuck am I supposed to time it if Portia is retarded? <sighs> See, there's no fucking pattern. There's no goddamn pattern. This is not fun. This is not, like, intelligent. fidgeting again. Maybe I should just wait for her to stop fidgeting completely if, if possible. bitch. Oh, she's fidgeting it. God damn it. Damn right you get the fucking cat. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, so that was that tower. Now we gotta go around to the lower towers. Oh, dear fucking God, man. Thank you. 
I wonder why none of the Gigas in the future, or the present, or whatever, have their helmets still. Like, I don't think 20 years would, would get rid of a metal helmet with horns. So maybe they just got tired of wearing them or something. Ratchet the Tower? What bullshit minigame do we gotta do this time? La dee da dee da. The Champion of the Dawn shall descend. There's one. I'll show you how it's done. Comment, I want you to position yourself at a vantage point. Direct me from there. Signal to me the instant case that turns and faces the other way. Got it? Okay, so we just did Portia. Now we're doing Lily Set. It's fitting that all these mini games have the Taru Taru uh, hijinks theme. That's what I think of it as, anyway. It's like the hijinks theme for anything that's actually hijinks in this game, but. It happens a ton in uh, uh, your hands on your hippin. That's your version of Porsche's fidgeting. Oh well, at least she didn't. She didn't uh, take longer. Are you serious? You'll show me how it's done, but I'm going to be the one directing you. Okay. You're really lucky you're cute. <laughs> Stop turning around with fucking random intervals, you stupid piece of shit cat! Seriously, walk like eight billion steps. Oh my fucking god! In heaven, make this stupid fucking cat behave. Turn around for real, please. Mini game, fucking stupid as shit. I guess at least we get to see Lily Set's face a lot, which is nice.
on her hips. That means she's going to walk like three steps instead of just two. Which is, in essence, taking longer like Portia, but Portia only moved one step at a time either way. Come on. Turn back around, you bitch. I swear this is one of those things that feels like whenever you get it right or whatever, it doesn't feel like you did it by skill. It, it feels like you did it by the game just finally being like, ah, oh, here you go, player. You, you, can, you can win now. Okay, so we just got to go down one more flight and to that eastern tower. And we'll have one more bullshit minigame to do. But then we be done with this fucking mission. And never have to do it again. Also, apparently the way campaign evaluations work is after you get a successful evaluation or a neutral evaluation where you don't lose your medal, uh, but you you were like told you know oh you you did well enough to keep your current rank or whatever um, you have five days until the next evaluation can happen and each day if you do at least one campaign battle then your chances of ranking up doesn't go down and I don't there's like a certain number of allied notes you have to earn for each rank or something like that and it goes higher and higher of course. But they don't tell you what it is. And I haven't been able to find a table for what it is yet online. But for the highest ranks, it's, it's something like 25,000. Oh, hey, look, it's an amphip there. That was a new monster added in to uh, Wings of the Goddess. They function like Yovras. Uh, they aggro by true sight if you uh, run it underneath them or whatever. And uh, they're pretty tough, they're rough customers. I guess I could try fighting it with trusts. They kind of act like notorious monsters because, like, they're unique, but they're not. They're, they're like they're like Yovras. They're comparable to Yovras, but I don't think they have charm. They just have some other nasty stuff. Do re mi fa so, in radiance blessed. Ah, over there. Oh, this one's gonna be tricky. How are you supposed to even get close? <laughs> I knew a such one like this might arise, so I came prepared. Listen up, Conway. When you think about a clear shot at Kate Sid, use this blowpipe to shoot the shadow bug at her. Okay, so we're just gonna have to wait for it to like. Oh nope. Gotta wait for it to stop moving. But like. Gotta stop moving for like a. Okay, good. Awesome. All right. Let's see if we can't fight that amphip tear. I uh don't know how strong it's gonna be. I think they absorb wind and thunder, and I also think they count as dragons. But I don't fully remember honestly, so. I just figure I might as well show off trying to fight it. Even if it kills me, then it's kind of whatever. They have Breathing Wind, which I believe lowers your TP for the whole party. 
And some other nasty thunder slash air moves. And I, I really don't know what else. It's been too long since I fought one. Um, and the only one I actually ever fought with regularity was this notorious monster in one of the Abyssia zones that uh, you spawned. It, didn't, it wasn't flying overhead, you spawned it. Although I think there was one in Abyssia Const Jet that was flying that came down on you. But I don't remember where or the reason or, or what. Huh. I wouldn't have think it would have been gone. I guess we could hop on our mount and see where it's at. Oh, there it is. Okay, we might want to kill that skeleton first since it's nighttime now, I guess. Oh, there's the amphibian there. Oh, my food wore off. And yes, they did reuse this model in Final Fantasy XIV for the dragon of the same variety that they made much smaller by comparison. We'll try to get it paralyzed and debuffed and whatnot. I don't know if they're immune to anything. Reaping Wind, that's the TP one. Ah, oh, I should have used my weapon skill. Yeah, but they're easier than Yovras, honestly. Uh, they don't got as much going on. You know, the, the Yovra can, like, you know, strip you of all, every party member of all its gear. They got that AoE charm. Like, if you can beat a Yovra in whatever party you've got, you can beat one of these. And there's a bit harder ones in, uh, Zarkabard S. And I think there's a notorious monster one in Dark Bardis. But, uh. Stormwave. Okay, so I got like frontal cleaves going on here. Man, I didn't weapon skill immediately that one time, and, I, and, and I, now I'm not getting the now I'm not getting the weapon skill pretty much at all. Was it like a knockback war or something? Oh wow, AoE drain. I guess a Puru silence. She's not healing. But I think we'll be okay. Big old death uh, thing. I just I just wanted to show off fighting one of those. I mean, why not? You can learn Reaving Wind from them on Blue Mage eventually. I think in the late 80s or early 90s. Uh, Resors teach Sub Zero Smash, which is like a tail cleave move. They are basically demonic walruses. Uh, no nothing really to write home about. They uh, absorb ice. I think. Ice and water. Uh, and they were also reused in Final Fantasy XIV in the uh, Stormblood expansion. Regal 
little paw prints around here too, or am I just supposed to like go deeper in the tower? I'm uncertain about things. Let's see, I saw I'll read up on the guide. Once you plant a bug in all fights with Regal Propens at H10. Compressed snow. Okay. We're at H10, but where are the Regal Propens? Yoo-hoo, Regal Propens! Okay, they're like next to a skeleton, because of course they are. Gone done exactly as you asked. Splendid. Did you happen to notice any single Kate as being particularly suspicious, the potential culprit? I couldn't tell a difference. I've always looked upon your entire litter with suspicion, to be honest. Oh, is that so? Well, never mind that then. Forget about it. Let us turn our attention to the current doings of each Kate. Man, imagine if your cat could levitate, viewer. Whew, nothing would be safe. Watching them lounge around like that, you'd be fooled into thinking nothing is wrong with the world. Sheesh, are you a lot actually here to do any work? Yeah, such is the free-spirited nature of Kate. A lifestyle to envy. None of them seem to be venturing from their posts. I have a thought. While we wait a mo movement for my counterparts, I shall impart to you the story of my wrinkled kindred and I. As a way of showing my appreciation for the trust you placed in me, a gesture of gratitude. Listen well, and you're bound to learn something of value. Interesting tidbits. You came here from the Vanadale of the future, the year 884 to be precise, by way of the cavernous Maws. <clears throat> Upon our meeting, I beseech you to assist us in reducing the tears of the era, alleviating the pains of wars. In other words, help us guide the world along a path of peace and prosperity for the children of Altana. Share the same goal. I'm here because I want to make the future a better place, and to save Father. Yes, we know of your mission well. Continuing the story, a long, long time ago, or was that a distant future? Far beyond the horizon of time. There was a bene beneficent soul, possessed of boundless love and compassion. She limited the suffering of the Great War and the dark future it might entail. The, intensi the intensity of her grief was such that the land is said to have trembled. When the Harbinger cometh, the Champions of Dawn shall descend. With wings divine and radiance blessed, the eternal night is end. Weeping for those whose lives were lost, she wished thus. It's like a bunch of galaxies. What if the pain of the Great War could be lessened? What if the Champions of the Dawn, those who wield the light, had come to guide the course of this age of strife? That no suffering need be endured and peace would reign across the land. This was her wish, that Vanadiel might tread a brighter path to the future, ensuring that events unfold as and when they should, and that things are put where they belong. This is the mission of which we, Kate, have been entrusted, the purpose of our existence. Y you mean... Ah! Kate Sid is on the move. Where is it headed? Somewhere on the glacier? It is imperative that we learn the destination. We must hurry. We cannot delay.
Wait, there's one thing I'd like to know first. What is it? The beneficent soul of which you spoke, the one who limited the suffering of the Great War. Who was she? Why, oh, that would be... She who watches eternal over Vendiel. The Dawn Goddess Altana. My kindred and I, you see, were born from tears shed by the Goddess. The manifestation of her grief. The Goddess herself. This sure is a lot to swallow. Calm wind, now we know the true significance of the events unfolding, unfolding around us. Looks like it's time again for Future Fabulous to put its nose to the grindstone. Alright. Uh-huh. And we're pretty much at like an hour 40 though, so I think we should stop for today. And uh... I'll probably just log out in the tower because I need to be getting to bed. I got work in seven hours. So, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. And next time we will do more Wings of the Goddess.